Hi, this is Ditcher Cook, and if you're um, going to be watching this video, um, this has been pre-recorded because I'm either John and I either do these videos when we're not feeling well, and I need some, and I, I, I anticipate I might need a day where I can't do a live broadcast or I'm traveling. So it's one or the other. But I was very excited. Summer, I thought Hobie caps would be fun. Um, I always wanted a, a, a rainbow sail on a Hobie cat. Hobie cats are a particular kind of boat that, that, that people sail with. Maybe you've got somebody out there in, uh, um, that you know that sails might enjoy this painting. Uh, we've got some fun reflections in the water. We've got an 8x10 uh, canvas, gallery wrap canvas. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, I think this is the kind of thing, if you like it, we would appreciate it very much that you would share the videos. If you would be so kind as to um, not just share them, put them in a playlist, have fun with that. I used um, Posca pens for the um, for some of the writing. I think I did a blue and a white one and a pink one. But you know, you would, and I really had no idea what to write even. I mean, a lot usually they put numbers and stuff up there so people know where um, you know you know the registration of the boat. Because, um, but I. You know, anyway, so that'll be fun. You can use your own imagination. Maybe you don't want a rainbow sail. Maybe you just want white sails. And, you know, that's okay, too. I'm going to show you a simple way to put people in the boats. And uh, kind of looking away from us. And sailing, gradated sky. And I think, I think you'll find this is a fun summer uh, boat painting. And I hope you guys like it. Love your comments. And um, if you like this boat painting, tell me what other kind of boats you'd like. And, um, you know, what other kind of paintings that you think might be fun to learn to do. And I'd like to encourage you to visit our website, gingercooklive.gallery, where we have over 365 lessons of all kinds of stuff and certainly some boats. And if you're interested in something like that, I just tell you to come over and pop over and take a look at that, where personal art cast coaching happens with personal videos for the people. It's really a cool thing we do. So I hope you enjoy uh, Hobie Cats. Okay, so today we're going to be painting the sailboats on a 8x10 uh, you know, gallery wrap um, canvas. It's a pro canvas by uh, 12 ounce pro Dixie canvas by Fredericks. And I talked a little bit about this in some other videos. It's really nice. It's just real quality. You just, um, if you want to just you can paint the edges. You don't have to frame something like this. You just hang it just the way it is. So if you factor in the cost of framing, sometimes it's nice to have a little better canvas, particularly if you want to, you know, be able to sell it to somebody. That's a good feature. If you're posting it on, uh, say, eBay to sell your paintings, you might want to consider that because people have, you could frame it if you wanted to, but people like to have their own thing. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to put in a gradated background. Something we keep this really simple, and then we're going to put in the boats. Um, I don't want to get it too busy. Um, I've got a bunch of paint out left over from another um, um, for another little project, but they're all the colors I normally use. So I'm just going to mist everything a little bit, give it all a mist, and um, let's start with a larger brush. I'm going to start with a. Um, this is a probably. Um, this is what happens when you leave your brushes in water, all the little writing comes off. Probably a number 12 ruby satin silver brush. I'm going to just go ahead and wet it. And then when you wet a brush, then you want to wring it out like that. And I'm going to make sure I have enough paint here. And this is my white, so let me just, I'm going to kind of use the rest of this paint here in a paint a little bit white. Let's take a tiny bit of uh, raw upper. And uh, my thinking is that we want kind of a gray day. So I'm going to put a little bit of raw umber with that, just a bit. There we go. Here's our blue. We're going to start off with this sort of a nice blue sky. And you see this got a little bit of extra paint here on the edge from the from that paint. Got a little lumpy because it's been sitting there, but that's okay. That was phthalo blue, a raw umber, and white. All right. And I think I'll put a little bit of ultramarine in there, too. I want to just red that up just a bit. Okay, there we go. So that, I'm going to come across here. This has already been painted blue. It doesn't really matter what color, but I've already painted this blue, all right? I'm really working that in, and I'm pushing fairly hard, and I'm working all the paint into this canvas like that. I might even get 
a little bit more ultramarine blue and come up here like this. And that's just where the paint's dried. So here we go. Here, let's get that off. So, all right. Now, what I'm going to do, because this paint's pretty thick, I'm going to wet the brush, dampen it, and I'm going to get a little bit of white paint. I'm going to skip down here like this on the brush, go all the way across like this. Now I've got the stripes, and now what am I going to do? This is I'm going to just go ahead and rinse the brush off, wipe it because it's damp, and I want to just, using just a bit of water, melt these two colors together. You see how I did that? So now if you were going to be doing this, you'd probably want to paint the sides too. Um, I would suggest that. You don't want to paint the sides as you're going. For instance, this side would have been a bit darker. Okay, but um, you know, just a thought. You might want to do that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and wet the brush again and uh, tap it off on the towel and get a little bit of white now here. This is kind of not totally clean here. Skip a little bit like this, right? Skip a little bit like this. I guess as long as I'm skipping, I'll come over both sides like that. Okay. Now, what about this gap? So you have left a little gap. Now I'm going to wet the brush again. Rinse it, wipe it off on this towel, and using just a damp brush over this paint, I'm going to blend in this color. You don't want to come up too high with it. Okay, and you've got this dark, you can get away with that because you've got this darker color underneath, like that. And so it, it just, if you have a little bit of the blue showing through, now I'm going to say that this is going to be my horizon line right here. Probably have got right here. So now I'm going to switch blues. I'm going to go with more of a tropical blue. Here's a blue I've always liked. We're going to just play with that. We talk about this a lot. If you don't have it, you can mix it. Um, uh, you could mix phthalo green and ultra... Well, you can mix phthalo green and phthalo blue and white together, or you can get something called Southern Ocean Blue. And I have that. Let me see. Where did I put that? I thought I had it in the box. I had, I had this in the box. I know I did. Oh, here it is. This is Southern Ocean Blue. And it's a really tropical green. And for me, if you're going to get me out in a sailboat, the weather better be nice. Because the one thing I discovered about sailboats is, is that the... Um, uh, the wind blows, or they don't work. <laughs> You're going, really, Ginger? That was your big revelation? Make sure this is level, perfectly level here like that. See see my um, see my water over this dark background. Now I'll put a little white with this. Okay, here we go. Same same colors. This is a very this is a doable painting. I don't think you're gonna have any trouble doing it. It's sort of simple it's simple but it's still very effective. We're gonna do a little bit of the let's just paint the sides while we're thinking about it. Just a little bit of dark green here like that. We'll do it over here. Uh, Southern Ocean Blue is really phthalo blue, phthalo green, and white, and it's just a gorgeous color, isn't it? And you want to make again. You want to make sure that this is uh, dark here. And then as we go forward, I'm going to put a little more white here. And your 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 um, generally speaking, your water gets a bit more turquoise. Even could put a little bit of yellow with that as you come in. You could even get a little tiny bit of yellow and add to that. It just has a tendency to warm up as you get in. Now when you see that it's not painting well, just dampen the brush and come back here. Because this this is a heavy weave canvas and even though I've sanded a little bit, it's still a heavy weave. Now I'm going to just blend this in. I'm pushing pretty hard to push it through all there like that. Now isn't that just gorgeous? I and mean, it just that can be so pretty. And you saw, you'll see me do um, there's a little bit of the white in here again. I'll do a few little streaks now. You'll see see me um, uh, do some um, backgrounds like this because I think it's it's really pretty and it's very effective. And we're just saying we're going to have our little sailboats out there sailing happily along with our people. And I think this is a nice picture. If you have someone that's into nautical stuff and maybe someone with a summer house, it's be a nice gift, don't you think? Um, anyway, so we just put a little in there and just kind of barely touch it now, blend that out. Maybe I'll take some, some, some of the phthalo green and do a few little streaks now, just using the tip of the brush. Now I've got these colors in. Isn't that nice? Then come in here like that and just 
do that on the sides, do that on the sides. Look how effective that is when you sort of match what you've done. Now, if you didn't want to do it while you were painting, you don't have to, and it's a good practice. Can you can you match your colors? So suppose in that sense it's a good practice. Put a little bit more of that yellow in here, because I like that, don't you? The kind of the tropical green. Now what you have to do with something like this when is what you've got to do is dry this really well. This is really important. Alright? So we're going to dry this. We're going to put the brush away. We're going to take a minute, probably a good three or four minutes with the hair dryer holding it very close on high heat. Um, or just walk away and have lunch and come back. Whatever you feel like doing. Okay? All right, I think that's pretty dry. Looks pretty dry to me. Okay, so then the next thing would be to um, see. I just put my towel right there. Next thing would be to draw in um, our sails, which need to be straight up and down. The mast is straight. If you ever had to buy a sail mast, I guess we should decide where we're going to put the boats. Hobie cats are two hull boats. They're almost like an H, okay? You know, they're two whole boats. And so I'm going to say I've got one here and one here. Kind of stagger these, okay? So the mast is sort of in the middle or toward the front. Here we go. Here we're going to say there's the mast and here's the boat. And it gets a little narrower. This particular style of Hobie gets a little narrower back here. You're not really going to see. The, you see a little bit of the other side of that, okay? And then the other boat's pretty close to it, but it's um, coming up here like that. Kind of stops here, and here's the mast. All right, see what I did? So I'm going to use a T-square, which I think is very effective, because you can put the top of it up here. So, all right, so I'm going to say here's the mast, and the, the masts are pretty tall. I'm going to come probably, um, going to say maybe not quite all the way to the top, but I'm going to say there's my first sail, and the other one is slightly shorter. Now that's interesting. The other one is not as tall. I'm going to just bring it down about like that, okay? So, I mean, I think, I think I'm pretty good there. Now, interestingly, this comes up above the boat at an angle and just comes out in curves like that. Okay, curves like that and comes in like that. This is sort of, I guess he had his at an angle too. They're tacking, which means they're not tacky, but they're tacking. I mean, they're doing something crazy with the wind, right? So um, this one has a little bit of a jib up here. Maybe they call it a foresail. A little bit of a jib up here that's here and this one did too. Kind of, kind of snuck in here like that. This one had that too. All right, a little bit of a jib like that, little foresail. And then here's, I think I'll do a little more boat in front of each one of these. Okay, like that. So I think that's, I think I like that. Now it's the time to decide if you don't. Now let's, let's turn it upside down. I just want to make sure I have that, that mass isn't straight. Then, um, then all bets are off. And it's, I feel like it is. I might just bring it up just a little higher. There we go. Okay. So now, one of my one of my favorite things. This is um, this so oh, this kind of kind of covering this way, isn't it? One of my favorite things was the sailboat I didn't get. All right. Did you know that that there was a sailboat Ginger didn't get? You ever heard that story? I really wanted. Um, I really wanted a um, a rainbow sailboat with a rainbow mast, and I didn't get one. I felt, um, the the company quit making them or whatever. So let's let's just start over with the paint. This was just left over from earlier projects. It's a little thick. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Start again, you guys. So I mean that was a big disappointment. I'm getting so I'm going to do it on this one, man. I'm having my rainbow sailboat just because. You know that? So I'm going to get out some white paint. Okay, like that. I'm using Matisse in the jar. 
And because you get, every once in a while they send you these big jars of paint if you buy so much and then I never think to use them. So better start using them up. What do you think, right? Now, um, I'm going to want, for my rainbow, I'm going to want probably, um, oh, I'm sure I would want thalo blue, wouldn't you think? I think I would want thalo blue. Let's think, let's think about a rainbow for a minute. Um, blue and pink. Of course, yellow, purple, yeah, for sure, right? Um, I want some beautiful, you know, colors on my purple, um, magenta, yellow, cad red, medium. Yeah, we can make it. We can make something really pretty, don't you think so? Yeah, who wants just a dull old white sail? I mean, I'm over that, for sure. Okay, so now... A little yellow. All right, let's see what we can do with those in a small little angle brush. You're up for that. Let's see what we can paint here. Well, the first thing I want to do is, uh, I think I want to paint in the sails. Um, Probably white. I'm going to paint them in white first so that my rainbow sail has the most bang for its buck. Okay. I'll go ahead and paint my sails white first, but I know how I want to kind of section them off. Oh, we had cinnamon. When cinnamon was growing up, we had a, it wasn't a Hobie Cat brand, but we had a Hobie Cat type of boat in San Diego. As everybody in our congregation had one, it seemed like, and they'd all go down after church on Sundays and um, and go hang out at the beach and, and go sailing. And so I thought, well, we didn't know anybody. I thought, we're going to fit. We're going to fit in. We should have one of those boats. And they were kind of hard to launch because it wasn't, we weren't launching from a still bay. We were launching from surf. So it was a thing to launch them. i got to tell you, it was definitely a thing. Okay, here's that. All right, so far so good. And you may want to keep yours white. You don't have to do a rainbow one. But just, just saying, I wanted a rainbow one. So anyway, the upshot of it was is that um, this is going to come up a little bit taller here on this one too. Uh, the upshot of it was is that uh, we had the boat for a while, and we went and we go down to Mission. Uh, this was San Diego, so we went down to. Mission be, uh, Bay and then, you know, with the trailer and launched it from like a real boat place. And um, the thing of it is, these dumb things do not go unless you're, um, there's wind. And then, then you're wet, you're, you're wet, and then the wind's blowing and you're cold. And I just, it really wasn't, <laughs> I know I'm sounding like such a whiny wimp, it really wasn't fun. And so I had my little wetsuit on, everybody else is out there in their bikinis. I had a bikini too in those days, but it was all covered up by a wet wetsuit. And I made Cinnamon's dad just crazy because he just couldn't understand um, what the um, big deal was. Okay? And, uh, well, the big deal was it was cold. I don't know how else to say it. It was cold and windy. And then he would get out into these, this, into the, into the, you know, if we left the safety of Mission Bay and got into the ocean, oh my gosh, was that ever scary. Now, and I'm not wrong, a good friend of mine um, uh, was out he, at the same time. I didn't know him then. I met him years later. Gosh, I just got my hand in uh, paint. Well, no worries. I've got my tubby towel things here. I will fix that. Probably should have moved all that, but here you go. Here's my tubby towels. And uh, these you can find at the hardware store. You can find them on Amazon. We have links to these things. And they, I've not found nothing that cl cleans your hands off better than this, really. I'll They're supposed to be for cleaning your house, but man, they really work good on your hands. And they don't leave them all feeling crummy. So there, that's my little commercial for those guys. Now, um, here, all right. So I don't have a lot of paint on there yet, so I'm going to just take a minute and dry that. Because I'm pretty happy with that, okay? I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to miss this white paint here. Okay, so now 
I want this pretty straight. And somewhere in my bag of tricks around here, I've got I've got tape. Here's some nice. This is called artist. This is artist tape. It's good. Is this artist tape? That is. Where's this? Where's my artist tape? Here. It's called artist tape. I use this all the time. You need straight lines. People say I can't do a straight line. Well, you don't need to. Got rulers and tape. You don't need to do a straight line. Where did I get that? I'm telling you what. I am spreading paint everywhere except where I want it. Okay, let's clean that up too. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put, you pull it tight like this. I'm just going to put it right here. And I'll take a palette knife and cut it. And I'll do the same thing with this piece here. I'm going to just pull it. This canvas, I want a really straight line for these sailboats. So, um, there, and I'm going to, it's called burnishing. And I'm going to burnish that down, okay? Now, here's, let's come back with the second coat of white. This is titanium white, second coat. Ooh, ooh. All right, and you go right over the tape. Never push the brush that way. Always push it away from the tape. You don't want to shove the paint under the tape. Now, just to, this is my straight line here. We're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to adjust the curve on this just a little more than I had it. Now I have to remove this piece of tape, but look at that straight line to get this one here because we're gonna we're gonna do these these rainbow sails before we do the other because I've got another sail that's coming here in front of this one that's doing this. It kind of curves in like that. Okay, that's your jib sail thing. And um, I think it's a jib. Here's, yeah, here's, well, the, this is the jib. So it's mainsail, foresail, foresail. Jib is the. Oh, here swings the boom. That was it. Alright. Went to camp at some point in my life. I learned all this stuff. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow oxide now and a little bit of purple. Ooh, that's way too much. Let's take that over here. Now, let's grab some white paint and do this. A little bit more of the yellow stuff. Now, I want this sail to be kind of an off. This one, I want to be sort of an off white. Like that. That's coming in here like that. And I'm not going to tape this. But, um, it's straight on the bottom. It comes out almost like a toe print. Like that. Goes up like that, like this. And that's straight. Figured I'd just put this in there now so I wouldn't be confused about where that sail went. Now, one thing I know for sure is that if I had a little raw umber, which would be where? put all the toys. They're rummaging around for all the toys. Well, let's do a little burnt umber. I don't see the raw umber handy. It's a little burnt umber up here. Alright. Now, I want to say that this is, um, that right along here like this is my sail. Is my, um, it's actually the, um, going to be a dark line like that. And uh, that's the where it's cast, it's the mast, in case you were wondering. Just kind of do that fairly thin. Okay, and I think I could probably do it on this one before I take the tape off. Might not be that easy, but I think I can do that. Okay, I'm just. There, okay, so it's pretty good, right? We've got these two two sails. You guys are good with that, right? 
Now let's take a little bit of the, let's see, where's our ultramarine blue? Stay low. Here, let's put a little ultramarine blue out. Right here, we'll put it right up here. Okay. Now, I want to say that um, I want a little bit of white and a little bit of ultramarine blue and a little bit of burnt umber. Okay, that's my darkest gray color. Okay. And I'm going to say that this this boat back here, all right, in here, I'm going to say that's my It'll, there'll be some white too. You'll see this. It'll come this way too. Okay. And then it's got its little sail going up like this. Okay. So far so good. And they're both, it's interesting, they're both kind of leaning that way. Everybody thinks you would, it would be white, but it's actually um, not. It, it may be white later, but right now we'll start with the darkest color. We'll come up here and start with a little space, and here's another one right like that. So we got some people sitting in there that we're going to put. Now I'll add a little bit more white to that, and I'm going to come down here on this one and say here's our, um, here's this boat that almost slants down like that, like that in the water, like this. Just bring it out here like this. Okay. And of course you could, you know, Google a different kind of sailboat if you wanted to. There's a, there's a little cross piece like this and then there's another side. There's a trampoline. Pete, you're sitting on this trampoline to sail it, and, you know, like this little cloth springy trampoline. There's not a, they don't have a, like a floor. They have these, like these two holes. And then, they're, and then you're sitting on that and they're very, sharp this way. They're very, very sharp that way. They really um, are pointing that way. Okay? So, so far so good? Okay, now I'm going to just rinse the brush and put a little dampness on it. Now, um, let's just try that again. I almost feel like I need a second coat here um, to cover this up. There we go. And then on the top of the rail, it's very white up here on the very top. Let's be very white. Up here like this. Okay, so. And then this is, of course, you want this straight, but we've got some, um, um, I want a little bit of purple. I think we said that was purple and magenta. That's pretty. And I want to just do that with this. Just have that sail. A little more contrast on it, okay? So now, now what have we got? Well, we know we're going to have the people in here, and we're going to have the, we got the we have this in here, and this sort of curves at the bottom. This is fun. This curves at the bottom. Here's our little bit of blue and kind of a green color, right? Of our turquoise color, and this um, this just curves down here like that. It curves in, okay. Now, yeah. all right. So everybody's with me so far, right? And uh, all right. Now, what are we gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna dry this, and then we're gonna put our our colored rainbow sails in. Okay. This this is just time. It's not hard, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to just take a piece of canvas here and I want to practice what I want for my rainbow sail. So if I want a bit of a sail of blue and yellow, it's just a little bit more of a turquoisey blue color, okay? But I'm just going to, I'm just, just kind of imagining how I want my sail, right? So if I said I want, say, this color, I'm just, I'm just, 
I'm laying out my rainbow color before I do it on the canvas, right? I have no idea. I could have done this with markers. I could have done this on the computer. Um, you know, here's our, you know, color wheel. So maybe I want a little bit of green here. Maybe a little bit brighter green. See green. Then red and yellow make it kind of an orange color. That's kind of, that's actually magenta, but still it makes an orange color. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to decide how, what what colors I would want for a rainbow sail. So then maybe I want some magenta up here, and uh, then maybe I would want purple up here like that. I mean, it's my boat. I guess I can have it any way I want, right? And then let's see. I want um, let's see what else could we do? Here's a let's let's get out phthalo green. Let's see if I can open it. I feel like we need something a little more vibrant than what I've got there. But I might have to lay out. This is the thing. We just, you know, take a minute. You know, lay out your colors before you decide. Uh, what you want to do, but let's see, let's say that so they were green and white. I think that's pretty, don't you? It's just something a little brighter here. We were pretty close to that, but here you go. They were green and white. And then maybe some blue here like that. And a little bit of white. Light blue down at the bottom. Those are some nice colors here, right? So that's kind of, that's kind of pretty. I think I almost, um, and I think that's nice because if you look at this, I probably want I think that purple is too dark. Um, you know, that's interesting. And you know, when you're doing this, you got to think about values too. So, here's this purple. Let's put some more white in it. See what that looks like if the purple were lighter. Okay. So that's better, right? So now I'm trying to see what that would look like against my sky. And of course, that yellow could be brighter. But that's kind of how I remember them being, right? those colors. So let's see if we got a little bit a little bit more gold and yellow here on this one. There, see, like that. And then, alright, we'll just get out the cad red meeting. Put some one around. Because that's what we need is the bright orange. So, never hurts. I mean, don't start with a 30 by 40 canvas and then, um, there we go. That's it. That's it. That's pretty nice, right? And then where's um, where's red? Here's red. Here's just naphtha crimson. I just just want to see, guys. Here's naphtha crimson. Let's make this a bit redder. All right. So that's a pretty good. I don't know. Is that a pretty good rainbow? I I think this green leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, you know, probably should have reversed the blues. Probably should have had, now this is important stuff when you're doing this, but probably should have reversed the blues. Probably should have had this blue here and then gone down into a darker blue down here, something like that. That looks a little better, doesn't it? And then are, are any of these colors, could I leave any of these colors out? I think that we're okay. All right, so I'm going. Um, let's see. I think I'm, I'm I'm going with that. I guess I could go with. Let's see. Let's look at the color wheel. We've got purple, violet, and red, and then orange, and then yellow, and green. Maybe we need a brighter green. Maybe that would be a better green. What do you think? Let's let's look at that now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. What if this was a brighter green? Like that with more yellow in it. What do you guys think there? Brighter green. I mean, we're talking about a sailboat. We want people to see us. Okay. And then, um, where if we put that? Then we would do the phthalo green and white. Okay, I've got it. Now we do the phthalo green and white. That's looking better, right? We did this. And then the light blue, huh? Then the really light blue, huh? 
down here, I guess, huh? All right, something like that. All right, we're going for that. This, that's our rainbow. Okay. So, the thing it was is that it was kind of, um, it's curved like this. Okay. That's curved. So I guess I'll start with the with the uh, clean brush. I'll start with the clean brush. This is fun, isn't it? You're kind of watching how we're designing a painting, but this is what you do. I mean, you, you might just want it blue and white, or pink and white, or yellow, or gold, or whatever. So I'm going to say, all right, now this is right down at the ocean, so we're going to reverse this, because I don't want this blue down here in the water, because it's not going to show up, right? So it could be a dark blue, and that would show up. But but we've got the and we've got those people. We could do a let's reverse it. Let's do a a, a, a purple and a white kind of a lavender. Let's do that. Let's do that here. I like that. Let's put that one. Let's make it that one right here like this. Because I want it to show up. So where are we with the color wheel with the lavender? What's next? Yeah, I guess it's red. Okay. We'll do lavender and then we're gonna do we're gonna do red. So far so good, yeah? And then we're gonna do orange. Tad red medium and or in and a red bright orange color. I'm gonna say that that's this color. That's this next color coming up here like this. I want this orange close enough to the blue to to be a complement of it like that. Okay, so far so good. And. Um, Uh, let's see. I'm thinking this should be green. I know it should be purple, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Let's, we'll look. All right, here's some yellow. Let's pick a little yellow oxide because that's a little bright. Okay, it doesn't all have to be one color. We'll, we'll shade it and everything, but we're just kind of playing with the colors now. Okay, yellow. And then, of course, we had to have green, like a bright green, like up here. These angle brushes are perfect for this. See how it's curving around here like that? Oh yeah, that was a light green. Okay, so far so good, yeah. Well, I'm, I guess except for this color here, I'm pretty good with it. Okay. Just not sure I like that color. I like the, I think it should be probably a dark green down here. We can always change it. I don't know, it'll be too much of the same value. Well, I'm just leaving it for now. So yeah, we said we wanted green, so we want a nice deep dark green up here. And you're going to get a very vibrant color because we painted over white. Okay, so far so good. And then probably a light blue at the top, light turquoise blue. Should be very nice with a little bit of like, kind of a, um, well where'd that Southern Ocean blue go? You won't have that out there. Let's use that. Here, let's just make that. So, um, there, let's put a little of that out. Some white white. Here we go. A little turquoise. I want it. It's kind of a turquoise -y blue, but lots of white in it. Right? There you go. Something like that. So we're going to say here's the light color up here like that. And um, can't do blue down here. Um, well, this could have been bluer. So it's a sort of a quandary here. What should we do here? This could have been, this could have been bluer part of this. 
But on the other hand, I want it to show up. I don't want it to melt into the sky either, see? So it's got to be kind of light, or it's going to show in the sky. So I guess we have to have sort of this blue-green color. Too much paint. If you get too much paint, just wipe it off. Just mop it up like a floor. Don't keep trying to play with it. Just get rid of it. All right, so I think I'm going to come back. And then I can't. That's got to be. Let's see if we can't get some um, magenta pink, almost a pink in here like this. Yeah, maybe better. Or pink. It's a little bit lighter value. Okay, I, I would have liked this sale. Okay. Alright, so there's my my rainbow sale on this one. And I think for this other one, I think what I would do is um, maybe just have shades of gold. This, they both don't have to be rainbow sales. Uh, this one could be like kind of gold. I think gold would be pretty on this the gold sale. Nice contrast to everything else. Maybe a little bit of yellow in it. Alright, so far so good. Yeah, that's nice. And then how about a little bit of gold and orange in it? It's going to cut a little bit of a... It's got some streaks in it, so we're going to put some folds in it like that. we got to put the folds in the, um, in the fabric. Okay, like that. Something like that. There's some definite folds in the fabric. Okay, so everybody's good with me now, right? Now, all right. So now what? All right, let's take a little bit of white paint and uh, let's lighten this front sail up just a bit. Okay, let's get a little more contrast going. Let's lighten this front sail up just a hair. There, I'm liking that already. It feels more boaty, doesn't it? And I want to like that word boaty. Feels more boaty. Let's get, get some white up here. Just want my. I want a little bit more contrast than I've got here, so here we go. White sail. And this canvas is a little rough so that when you do this, you know, some of the gray shows underneath, which is kind of pretty, okay? So, um, there we go, something like that. And let's say the same thing here. Let's just say that there's a little bit more, it's a little bit lighter contrast coming this way on our Hobie cat. Anyway, we ended up not going very often to the, you know, sailing because um, I'm not going to have more, you know, I think there ought to be some boats out here in the water. I'm not saying it's a regatta, but I'm just saying there ought to be some sailboats out here somewhere sailing to kind of give it a feeling of festivity on the ocean. Okay, there we go. See, already it looks better. Just added a few few little boats. There we go. If I'm playing, everybody has to come out and play with me. That's how it works, right? Okay, so now I'm going to well, I kind of like this. I have to say, I kind of like that. I'm going to just sort of do some pink in here like that. Kind of do a little... Oh, that's nice. We, we, we got this, you guys. This could be very nice. And again, we're not trying to be too clever. We're not trying to make this too hard. I think that anybody, I think you all could do this. If you wanted to do, you know, a more elaborate... Gosh, if you wanted to do a more elaborate um, sky, you could. But uh, here you go. It's just a few little... Okay. Here's our green. Okay, so, so far so good, yeah. Now let's dry it and then we'll put our people in and then float the boats and it should all be great, right? All right, so now we need some people. 
So they're looking away from us. This is the advantage of having a person. And here, here, I've got my little Posca pen. And uh, I just need to straighten up this boat here a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I just had to do that. It needed to be straightened up. So I got a person here. And they're sitting here like this. They're back to us. And they're kind of leaned over like this. With their head here, up here like that. And they're just leaned over. You really, they've got some sort of life jacket on. And you, you don't really... You don't really see what their deal is. They're just there. It's their head. Okay? And then there's another guy here. A little smaller. He's here. He's here like this. And they're almost just... I'm going to tell you what. There's an arm that's coming out this way. And he's reaching some sort of a line that's... Um, it's a straight line here like that. He's reaching some sort of a line that's coming out this way. And he's reaching for that. And he's in here like this, sitting here on the trampoline. That's these two guys. And then over here, we got a guy who's just, um, he's just sitting here. And just kind of, he, well, he isn't saying too much. He's just sitting here like this. And, um, you know, doing his sailboat thing. Okay, so we got three guys, okay? And then we don't have to do much with these. We can just say that there's a sailboat out here. Alright, so there we go. So, so far so good. You guys are with me so far? And, uh, I've dried it, so I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, pasta pen here between these. That's, that's, as I remember, that's how it was, right? All right, now to get this to go, now we could have done it in, you know, just done it all in pens, right? But I think we can use a teeny little brush if we found one. Here's a little tiny brush here, a little pointy brush, a little zero. And I'm going to put this guy in in, in red, Cadran Medium. Um, in yellow, I think, because that's the color. I got kind of enamored with what he was wearing, so he's got this little orange shirt on here like this and then he's wearing red pants down here like this and then he's got kind of this orange jacket it's coming this way okay so far so good right just sitting there so far you don't really see much and then he's got this sort of dark head it's just a bent, bent over here like this Really, you're just looking at these guys from the back. And he's got some sort of harness on. You know, they all wear these harness thingies. Okay, like that. And it's dark down here, like this, back and under here, like this. And the mast is coming down like that. Okay, so you guys are, you know, you're going, it doesn't really show up very well yet. So what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit lighter pink around his head. I'll get rid of the white. I'll just make that pink around his head there, like there where the sailboat is. Where the, um, where this is like this. Okay, here it is. Like that. So far so good, yeah. And let's take a little bit of yellow and give a little bit of yellow on his shirt. You just, you don't need to do much. This is so crazy. You don't, you just have to suggest he's on the boat. You know, it's just really, now let's take a little purple and blue Here's our guy, this little guy back here. He's all by his little self. And he's got the, um, he just meant to make his shoulders. And then he's sitting here. Again, we don't, we don't, it could be a guy or girl. He's coming down here like this, and his arms up here like this, and he's grabbed that. Okay. There he is sitting on the boat like this. And then we'll take a little bit of white and put his little harness on. There really isn't much to this, I promise you. Okay? Now, the rest of it here, this part, is, um, it's white. There's a nice white little railing here. It's in front. Okay? 
Okay, like that. Yeah, everybody's good with that. Yeah. And then it's a little bit grayer in the inside of the boat, right in here, but for, for more of a gray color. Remember we talked about that? Kind of maybe it's even a little more purple. You kind of a gray color in here, like the inside of this. The inside of where the hull is. There, so it gets a little depth to the boat. So then you're saying the top piece here is uh, is white. And I guess we could have done a pen too, but we're you know, a palette knife would have worked here too. You could have done a palette knife and got a straight line with that too. Okay, there you go. So there's the top of this, and uh, and, and somebody had like a kind of an orange belt going around their waist like this. Okay. All right, so that's what these guys had, and this guy had kind of a orange jacket here, and then the rest was dark, a little bit of purple or something. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here's his head. His arms coming down like this. It's kind of doing this, and you really that's all you have to do. It doesn't have to do much of anything. And here's our mask coming down, so we know that the inside of this boat is a little grayer. And then the top part here, the very top of this um, here. Well, let's see how the palette knife would do that. Somebody says, what palette knife? What are you talking about? Well, if you're having trouble, you know, this canvas is pretty rough because of the way we, we did sand it a lot. So I would smooth out the paint like this here on the palette knife. And I just scrape some up like this. Can you see what I'm doing here? Here, flatten it out. Flatten it out. Now I'm just going to scrape a little. Do practice it. If you go, if you go too far, you get a. Here, we'll just uh, clean off the knife now. Just scrape a little bit on the edge. It's got to be metal. And I would come up here like this. And just tap this on here, like that. Look at that. Same thing here with the other side. Flatten it out and then scrape up a bit on the edge. Just barely touch it. it just, it's not straight up and down, but it's not flat either. And you can do that with um, with lines if you feel like there's a like a first one up here like this. You could you could do a little bit like this just with the palette knife. This would be a you know, and then you just come on up here with the line that goes up here like that. See? The same thing with this one. This this line, trust me, comes up and fastens to this somewhere like that. Okay. So now I'm thinking I'm liking the palette knife, and I think I want a little bit of um, yellow and purple. Yellow, purple, gray, yellow. Get a little bit of this white business going here. Kind of an off-white color. And I'm just going to come up like this on this... Um, sail with my knife because this canvas is perfect for that. See, just a little bit of color. And if I go up here, if I turn it like this, I take a little bit of yellow oxide and just kind of do this too. I kind of like that a little tiny bit of purple in it. There we go. Flatten all this out. Scrape up a bit. So I don't really want the look of a can come here like this and just line this up where the mask goes. Make sure you just have it on the edge here, just on the edge. And I think that's effective. I can say this is a darker brown here like this. There, okay. So it gives it, you know, a painting like this it a little bit more texture. Here we go. There's a little bit of white here that we weren't playing with. And I kind of like that on here too. A little bit of the light on there like that. Oh, that's pretty, right? What if we had a little bit of this color on here on this sail right there? Okay, a little bit brighter. That one's in front. Okay, so now what about the um, 
the rest of this. Well, I'm not brave enough to, on this size canvas to do that, but we could. Um, we could. I feel like we need another. For sure, we need another coat of paint on this one. For sure, we just need another coat of paint on this front boat here. Kind of like that. We just definitely need that. And uh, and then let's see. Let's take our Southern Ocean blue and white. All right, like that. And let's let's pull some colors into the water like this. Um, I think this is where um, mixing white would be good or zinc white because we want to say that there's a I want to just suggest that there might be a you know it's just something happening in here could we put some color now this is fun let's have some fun with this uh, could we put some color in our um, you know could we add some color to our water here like this could we just suggest that there was some color in this water why not why couldn't we suggest that you know, maybe a little bit of orange and color in, in the water back down in here. Maybe a little bit of yellow showing. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to suggest it, you know. We're the artists here. We can just suggest it. Here's a little bit of green where this boat's coming. And then for right next to where the boat is, there's some white. Yeah, right? Well, I think I probably, let me dry that real quick because that's too yellow. Let's dry that. Okay, so this is zinc white now. I just want a little bit of white here where the water is. Okay. And, you know, where the water might be, where these boats are. So just a little bit, right like that. Still want this a little lighter, like that. There we go. And uh, just take a little bit of this, you know, mixing white here like this and just kind of keep it flat like this and see that something happened like this. Now let's come back with our Southern Ocean Blue and break this up. So you can still have it, but just break it up. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? And I like the, I want a little more of that orange. That's really pretty because I feel like this guy here, he's orange too. So that might be pretty to put some of that in the water like that. And um, how about the other guy? Might he might not he have a might there not be something here with these two guys and maybe even this guy here. Like that. And then of course if you're gonna do that then you still have to to break up the with some you know, just a little white here like this. And oh, isn't that fun? Um, kind of is, isn't it? Maybe I'll say that there's some, you know, a little bit of red boats back there. Just, um, somebody's back there. Uh, what about some reflections here? As long as we're playing, right? As long as we're playing. I think we can make a nifty painting out of this. There's a little mixing line, or zinc white. Kind of be straight down from here. Yeah? Yes and yes? Yes and yes? Yes and yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then how about this? See, the mixing white is very transparent. You can't really do this with titanium, but you can you can do this with them. Okay? So there's, there's our little boats here. Okay? And, uh, Okay, so we've got a little bit of cad red um, on here on this to do a little bit of um, kind of highlight on that one. And let's do a bright yellow and orange highlight on this one. Here. There you go. And I think these guys should have some sort of a... just feel like they need something up here. Okay, like that. 
so, I mean, where would this be? Would it be, would we see some more of that in here like this coming down here, like from that sale? I don't know, maybe. Might see it. It's fun to be an artist and guest, isn't it? Now, here, let's put a little bit of blue across here like that. Here's our water. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So now this is the kind of day where nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> so, so obviously if it's that calm, the wind isn't blowing, you just, you may have your sails out, but you are sort of stuck. That's a, <laughs> someone's going to say, why did you paint it like that? Everybody's stuck now. And I, and I know, I know, they are. I need a little more white paint. I think I need to get a little more out. Let's see, what did we do with the palette knife that we were getting the paint out with? I don't remember, but let's see, we just need a little bit more. We should put it right there. Okay, need a little more white paint. One thing about it in the jars, I think you scoop out more paint than you normally would. That's up. You save money. On the other hand, of course, if they gave it to you, you really save some money. So I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's just an observation. I think one's allowed an observation here, right? So I'm going to just say here's the... Um, and again, let's get these back here a little longer. There we go. And then here's that cross piece here like that. Across the back of the boat. I'm liking this, you guys. I'm thinking this is fun. Really. Yeah, that absolutely works for me. Okay, so I've still got the where I drew out the stuff. Let's clean this up a bit. All right, you, you ready for that? I'm going to clean up this edge. I think that's fair, right? I'm going to clean this up. And it's funny when you go back and you do stuff just just the edge here. I just wanted to clean it up just a bit. Okay, come do. Yeah, a little bit of yellow and white. Kind of a light green. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that. I want some of that color in there. Just this color. This is you know about color. Yeah, if I have that color then I want some of this color. This orange color. For sure, right? How about this color? Oh yeah, that's nice. That works. Now, yeah, alright, so how do we do? We I think we did pretty good, right? So if you like this kind of thing, we don't we don't have a um there should be a little bit of a darker color right under the boat here. There, like that. Just just a little bit darker color under this boat. And we could, for instance, um, you know, you can do like letters and stuff. And this is where your, um, uh, you know, your pens come in, you know, because you could sit there and you could, you could do a little, like a little letter on here like this. You could write something like, um, there. just, I'm putting that in there because I can't, it's my boat, right? You can do whatever you want on your boat. I'm doing that on mine, right? Okay, so what could you write on here? I, I, I like the idea that you can write fun things. Like, come on, you love that, don't you? That you can write fun things on here? I've got some different colored Posca pens. Here's a real pretty pink one. Let's use that one. Look at that. That's sort of a peach one. Let's write something on the boat. Yay, let's write something on the boat. This is fun. We should put something up on the mast, too. Like, um... 
Uh, let's, we, we're going to write stuff all over this mask, right? I'm going to just, uh, they, they put n n numbers. You could put your street address if you wanted to, if you weren't sure what to put. Okay. And you could. Um, there, I just had to fix that person. Um, I'm going to sign it with this. Okay, right there. And I want to do something with the Posca pen too because I like it. And um, I want a little dark line under the boat here, like maybe even um, this needs to be brought up to here like that. This needs to connect here like that. Okay. And that connects up here to this somehow. Okay, everybody's good with this. Um, now the secret is you burp them. Did you guys know that when you first open them, you got to burp them like that. So then you got to do this, go up and down, and then you pump them. Now this one's never been opened before. Let me make sure I'm really shaking it. That's what the little ball is inside. Okay, you need to shake the pen. Um, well, that's pretty. It's sort of metallic. What should we write on here? Okay, if you're going to do that now, okay, now, here you're gonna, if you're going to do that, then what you ought to do is make sure that it's straight. Here's a, here's a little bit of thin tape. And make sure that it, you've got it straight. This is real important. Okay. You know, so I'm going to say that. going to write something above here like that. Um, um, well, I don't know what it's, what's, I just, I don't know what to write, so I'm going to write something. Okay, I wrote, that's not, I wrote the love boat. I don't know if you can read it, but that's what I wrote. I know, it's very corny. We get it. It's very corny. Where else can I use this pen? I'm having fun with this pen. That's nice. This is, this is fun, right? I think I still need a little pink in the water here. Just a tiny bit of that pink color. Magenta and white in the water. A little tiny bit. Put a little more white with that. Just a little bit of the pink, kind of a pretty pink tone in here. Just, you know, just kind of class it up a bit, right? And the same thing here. What happened with my, um, I was out of yellow oxide and I was out of yellow paint. So, um, you know, you got to be careful with that too, because when you start running out of your paints in your tendency, you kind of lose your colors. So I'm going to just say that um, there's some of this gold color coming down here like that. And I need some of that yellow too. It was out of that. So and that's okay. If you get out of color, just put, just put some back because it gives a little color surprise. Like for instance, like this guy here on his arms back here, he's kind of, he had this, um, kind of neat outfit on. And then this guy here, I think you can see him here, but you know, here's a little yellow. Um, so do you need a couple little bright spots of yellow somewhere? I mean, you're just saying, I know we signed it, but just this is the kind of thing you want to, you know, you want to look at, see, what, what could you do that would be, that would be really pretty, that would still, you know, still resonate with the, the, the entire painting. I like this color blue right here. That's kind of cool too. There. All right. I'll just stop now because I think it's fine. And I think we did, you get the idea of how you might paint this, uh, you know, cool regatta. And then one thing you can do, for instance, like where our um, chalk was, you can wait and then dry the, take the chalk off tomorrow after it's dry, right? 
You absolutely can do that. Or you can just kind of go ahead and very carefully paint everything again. I think I want to put a something on that one. There you go. Okay, you guys. I think that's it. I hope if you subscribe to this channel, I would love it if you would do so. Um, if you haven't thought about it already, if you're watching this as a video, John and I are out of town traveling or somebody's sick or something like that. We try to make some videos ahead so when we leave town, you know, we, you know, or um, somebody's not feeling well, we can still post something up. And here we go. Just want a little bit of light up here like that on this mast. I feel like I need a little bit light there. Okay, I like I like that. No, no, maybe go straight down from here now. Yeah, okay, that kind of would be too, wouldn't it? I just felt like we had to put that. Didn't, don't you think we did? Then you want to break it up like that. It had to suggest the mass, right? Didn't it, the mass? Really, we had to. Yes, you could. Yes, and yes, you could see that we had to. So you had to suggest that and suggest where the where it was all at kind of at an angle. So we're just gonna um, there. Okay, so we're gonna just do that. It kind of suggests it at an angle like that. And you can always add a few more boat colors. A few more boat colors never hurts, right? Ooh, I like that though. Maybe I want something in here like this. It's a very calm day. I just don't know why any. Don't think anybody's really sailing anywhere, but I'm not not to be a downer. I do not want to be accused of being a downer. I want a little cad red medium on this guy's outfit here in the front, bright, brighten it, him up here where you're sitting. Okay, so there we go. Hobby cats, have fun with this, and uh, uh, I'm excited for doing it. I think this is really fun. I hope you enjoyed painting it.